So a slight problem that we've got with that heat wave telling me to just cut down the plants and all that, a lot of them weren't even seed bearing, so we just... We just lost all of those seeds. So, um... I'm not sure where to find carrots and all that anymore. I think we'd have to, like, caravan out and see about getting some, sadly, because I don't know if there's any wild ones around, but... I did reset up these farms, though. We've got... We got flax going on when ripe. Go for that. Same thing with the beets, when ripe, go for that. Don't have any seeds for it, though. We have, like, four or five seeds, I think, actually. Uh, and then herbs, when ripe, I suppose. And then over here, we got red currant shrubs. We will... We gotta just plant them when ripe. It, it takes one red currant, I think, to, to make this. So it's just one berry turns to eight. Pretty good. I mean, one berry turns to three even you could do in about 11 days but wait two more days and there's seven more berries or five more berries i can maths but yeah like cabbage field carrot field barley field we don't we don't have any seeds of that anymore those are gone because uh well i was under the impression i had tear down my crops, which at this point I'm not actually convinced I had to. I think we could have been okay. But... Yeah, I'm not seeing any of the, like, wild carrots or anything, so... We might have to caravan out and see if we can find some. Which is... Which is fine. It's not the biggest deal ever. We can go and, uh, probably do that now, actually. We got the monarchy, like, right over here. Over there in Bylaw, 13 tiles away. Send a caravan. Don't know if it matters who I send. We'll send, uh... We'll send Santa again. It seemed to work okay before. We'll send over some saplings. Saplings and food. They, they'll probably buy something of that, right? I guess if now we can give, like, some flimsy, crappy, poopy winter clothing. <laughs> uh, oh, we're just over. There. Go! Good luck to you. You're the faithful sons of England. They follow a different religion than you do, but I don't... Again, as with most things, I, I don't know if it matters. I feel like it doesn't, but maybe one day it will. You know what, with the variations thing, can also get corner bits up here then didn't even think about doing that or consider it but now it's done haha -ha! looking very nice i also got the variation set up for the roof over here so we got like this kind of wood trim around rounded some of the corners here as well looking quite good i think it's nice it's a neat thing that i like that a lot i like that it just happens too i don't have to have like a the settler or colony or whatever run over and do it. It just it just works and I can do it while it's bloom printed and everything. That's really good. I hope we're ready to have just red currant pies all of winter, because that's all we're getting. Unless this trade goes like so good and we can get a really fast harvest in. Kinda doubt it. Kinda doubt it. What's that flax doing there? Get that out of here. The heck? It's going to decompose in a year and three days. You better hurry. Oh, I forgot a goat. Pesky. More like crazy taco. Nice. I think that's all the animals done. Yeah. I don't know. Should I bother training goats? Like, what does that do for me? Training a goat. What can it do? Battle goat? I'm not even sure what it's capable of. Like, I assume the dog can probably haul and also battle, because dogs are pretty smart. But, like... Also train the cow, so it can haul? Maybe? <laughs> like, it's not a female cow, so I'm not sure what else to do with it aside from eventually make other cows. Alright, can we fucking stop with that? These, these fucking foxes just eating up all our pies after we cook them. Why are we just leaving them on the ground all the time? Sick of it. I'm tired of it. We're relocating this. We're bringing it over here and we're fencing it in. 
<laughs> I'm a little tempted to bring it down into our cave just to see if it matters that we'd be smoking ourselves out. Uh, did we go limestone, maybe? It's only 5% cover, so I'm not too concerned about uh, attackers using this. Caravan arrived. Man, that was quick. All right, what do they got? Hopefully they got some good seeds. Carrot seeds, cabbage seeds. Perfect. Beet seed and flax seed. Awesome. Do we have anything to sell, though? Okay, good. Good, they're willing to buy the saplings. Phew. And also... That stuff. Okay, keep enough food for yourself, obviously. And then... Ooh, an icebox. A candelabra. Uh, straight up have a blacksmith forge already made up and everything. 608, though. That's... Not gonna be easy. Okay, cool. Uh... I don't know. All of them. <laughs> uh -huh. Apples. While we're at it. How about that? Does that sound good? It sounds okay to me. Let's do it. I accept. Okay, go back. Yeah, you know what? We can probably make it back. I don't know how many days there is to a season here. It's only been 28 days since the start. Four seasons, 12 days each. Ugh, it's going to be a bit rough. Vegetation will not grow in low temperatures. Ensure that you sow and harvest as much as you can before winter starts. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Ooh, training attempt successful on, uh, on Ozeek. Takes a little while, though, I suppose. Trained 13%. Okay. And storage about 25. Does the, does the cow have, st yeah, 150 storage amount. The goats as well, 45 storage amount. I guess I can bring everything with me. It's like a hauling animal, then. Just, uh, send out Santa with, like, 30 rats and, uh, 8 sheep and be like, Ah, yes. I'm here to pilfer some wares. <laughs> Where are the rats at? How they doing, do we know? 58% tamed. Storage amount 4. <laughs> they can carry 4 weight of something, I think. Looking quite nice and warm in here nowadays. Oh, hey, did I ever look at this? I totally didn't. Dismantle items for wood. If it's in terrible shape. Alternatively, if it's crap. A rangy hawker empties their pack, spreading his... Oh, another friendly visit. Another vendor coming by. Nice. Uh, alternatively, if it's flimsy, then get rid of it. Regardless of what it is. There's a lot of items there. And we will make... I don't know, a few cudgels and spears. Really just like... three or so. Not a lot. Mostly to disassemble stuff. And then short bows when you can. With higher... Higher research. Ugh. The brightness when storms are over. Um, with higher researches, we can probably do the, uh, the long bows and stuff, right? What's that take for that? Wooden weaponry too, probably. No, fletching too. That's the one. And then and then crossbows. Maybe I should have hung on to that crossbow. Maybe they were actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, Godric. Uh, Naz, when you're awake, I think. The dude's a little bit suspicious, just alone standing up here. Kind of weird. It's a little bit weird. A bit of barley, alcohol, hey, cabbage seeds. Sure. Beet seeds, I, I guess, too. Why not? Flax seeds, I got... I got too many flax seeds. He doesn't really want them either, though. They're not really worth much. Um... Saplings? Maple saplings. And, uh, some oak saplings. 
And smoked meat. Except. Aha! And Santa should be here soon too. Yeah, very, very soon. And then we can... We can maybe rush a crop garden. Max yield in 14 days. What can we do in like... No time at all. Five days until it's ripe? Nine days. We only have six days, so it would have to be when ripe we get a little more cabbage and the seed back. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait. Because I'd really like to... I'd really like to wait until it's like flowering and all that, or seeding or whatever, so we just get tons of seeds and then I don't have to worry about it anymore. And just somewhere in deep storage we have just 600 seeds, so if I ever have to chop up my plants again for the environmental effects, then I don't have to think about it or worry about it, I can just do it. And then tree-wise... Yeah, that's... Looking quite ugly, that. Let's do something a little more reasonable out here. Just to spread around kind of everywhere thing, even one or two inside the pen for a little bit more shade for them. Uh, why not? And then they can do their sapling thing and spread around and it's it's whatever. They can set it to re-sow it afterwards and we'll just have to periodically then I guess manually go through and clean it up. I don't know. And thus I do a second growing region that says don't sow and I just uh, cover this whole area. It'd be terribly ugly looking though. But I guess that's... I guess that's the alternative. Whoa. Ooh, what is this? What the fuck? Why have you... Why? <laughs> what? Okay. Um... How is that floor not stable? You're on the- you're on the side of the floor there. Man, you really- you really done goofed this up, didn't you? Can you manage that? Can't be reached on- and also not allowed- enough allowed resources. Are we actually out of wood? No, we're not. You're just lying. Okay, you can't reach that, even though you can totally just, like, reach down there from here. Man, what the hell? What have you done? And why? Too far from a stable structure. So I think I have to... I think I gotta do like a wood beam type thing. Nah, still no. They just can't reach it, so we'll just... Finish wood flooring this up then, and uh... Yeah, I guess like... Maybe we just have a center wall there then. <laughs> and that can be the... Proper... Sort of... Support for this floor. I guess. We just have floor there now. That looks good. <clears throat> I'm really happy about that. I don't know why we can't bridge this, though. That I'm not too sure on. Because there should be lateral support from the wood floor. Stability 1. It can handle one brick outside of it. Or one tile outside of it. But, like, it can't? You can get the floor there? Okay, that also works. Hold on. I don't know why this spot's okay. 
But yeah, go for that. I also don't know how you reach that. I don't know how we mined this. I don't understand any of this is... I, all, all of this is over my head right now, but I think we can fix this. Merchant caravan again. Okay, cool. Grats. And then we can clay wall this. Okay. It's happening. And then I'll wood floor this. <laughs> it seems very excessive. And we'll go with the outer frame there. That looks nice. Right, it's just a nice, nice patch job. And like super thermally insulated though. Like so much. But I'm hoping with all of that, then I can get rid of this garbage then. It seems happy so far. That, that broke all of it. This is the most important piece of wall we have ever, ever made. That wall is what's holding up the wall way up here, somehow. Okay, now it's not happy with that. Okay, it's the floor on top of the wall then? <laughs> Maybe I did need the support beams too. Maybe that's also necessary, I don't know. So while they futz with that... Stonemason bench, put that in, just the 80 wood. Did that have any other materials? No, okay. Stonemason bench, and then we can make limestone brick, was it? Limestone brick, a hundred of it. We'll just make a specific command for that. I don't really want to have a backlog of it. Although I'm sure having that unlocks different materials that I can do, like different brick floors or something like that. Or brick walls, maybe. Um, we'll see when we start getting some of it, how that works. And then we can finally do that, and then we can melt down some of this ore that we're getting, and then probably do nothing with it, because I don't think I really have a great smith. I, I got a couple good smiths, actually. Never mind. We're okay. Can probably make some pretty okay gear, actually. Like, proper armor for everybody. Our dog is hungry. Why is the dog hungry? Who can feed the dog? What does the dog eat? Where's the information? <laughs> we have a distinct lack of information so far in this game. Uh, appetite, just one X. I don't... I don't know what you eat. Like, you want some raw meat? Because we got some raw meat. We got it right up there. I don't... I don't know how to get you to have that, though. Um... And also why this wasn't a problem before. Were you just eating food from, uh... From our pile over there before? Should I... Because I don't want to just leave a stack of meat out. I don't know why you're not really coming into anywhere. You're you're allowed to come down here, you know. I guess you can't figure out the doors. Well, keep this door open, maybe. Then can the dog maybe path down and... And eat that then? Do you care? Hello? Feed them, otherwise they might die. Check each animal's diet in the almanac. Access piles of appropriate resources. Yeah, you can totally access this, though, is the thing. Unless you can't figure out stairs. In which case, yeah. Maybe. Or perhaps you can't do... I don't know. Here. 
Um... Do I just have to have a pile of meat on the floor at all times for you, I guess? This isn't helpful at all, game. This isn't at all helpful. <laughs> okay. So very high. So we're gonna set these to just high, this general stockpile over here, which is terrible looking. We're gonna set to... I uh, actually just low, actually. And these we're gonna set to just high. There we go. Raw meat pile. Plus a little bit. Come on down, Ozeke. Or don't. There's a roasted meat pile over there. You wanna go get that? Ozeke? Are dogs capable of going, uh anywhere at all whatsoever or are they absolutely hopeless and they just have to that's not where I put that they just absolutely have to walk around out and about because this is a bit of a problem if I have to just leave the food outside because anything can eat that food then like, all the wild foxes around. All the wolves that are around. He's not going for that. Okay. Um. Well, there, there you go, I guess, then. I'll move it again for you. Cool. And, like, fucking everything else ever is also going to eat it, and we're just going to lose all of our food because of that. Like, that's that's kind of really lame, actually, that I can't... Like, dogs can't use stairs? Or look at all this. Like, what? <laughs> dogs can't use stairs or fences or doors or be let anywhere or anything, they just have to wander around outside on the grass. Game, you're gonna make me starve my dog to death, and I'm gonna be very upset. I'm already upset at this. This shouldn't have happened, and I should also be able to fix this, but I can't anymore. I can't even put it back to how I managed it before. I don't even know how I did that. I don't think it was meant to happen. And now you're getting fucked up by a wolf. Like, really fucked up by a wolf? What the hell? Okay, hold on. Run away! Um... Everybody else. Draft and get up here. Dude, Naz is just getting annihilated. Okay. We good? I have an idea, actually. Um, although they've just eaten. I'm thinking I just do drafted hunting. I'll like put down another little food pile and then as the wolves all stream in, I'll just slaughter the wolves while they eat and just beat them up real quick and then maybe I don't have to worry about it as much. I'm also not too sure why you don't have any gear on, like, at all whatsoever. Just some flimsy summer clothes, even though there is a bit of armor laying around, and you are allowed to wear armor. There's a lot of things that I don't really understand with this, that it's not really... ...explaining? Or seemingly just working at all. I don't, uh... Like, it's so weird that, like, I can force somebody to wear something, but then there's no way to undo the force. Like, they're just permanently forced to wear that, and... They don't ever replace it, which is fine, but I'd like to unforce it, and there's no way to do that. So I just have to always manually go through their gear and sort it, because I've told them also to drop the force thing, which would then unforce it, but then when they re-equip something, they re-equip just garbage, when there's much better stuff around. I don't know, like... 
Do I really have to just go through all of this stuff and be like, make sure you wear the best stuff possible? Because that's going to suck. <laughs> I just I just want them to wear like the good stuff. Don't don't wear nothing, you know, like don't be like Naz over here. But there's summer clothes. We should be making winter clothes, by the way. Is that happening? Production aisle waiting for worker. Let's pause summer clothes. Summer clothes which you're making, but not... Counting? Oh, no, there it goes. Okay. That was... Oh, that's strange. <laughs> it does... It doesn't move the count with it. Okay, odd. Yeah, do the winter clothes first, though. Uh... Because winter's actually going to be rough for us. It's going to get proper cold. Ugh. The hell? Suddenly the gamma's just gone. Build some more of these braziers around to, uh... To keep the place warm. I'm also going to see if I hold open bedroom doors. If I keep that open. If, uh... The temperature then helps to flow through, so hopefully this entire interior mountain area is at least not freezing, because... It's freezing outside. It's day 9 of autumn, and it is very cold. And I don't know what to do for our animals exactly. I think I gotta, like... Probably wall them in. Is it okay if I... Is it okay with me doing that though? Like, does this does this work for uh, like a like a room? And then barn door. Some protection from elements cannot be secured against wandering animals. Oh, okay. So that's not what we want. That'd be for like. Will that work out if I wanted a nice, secure indoor spot for them to sleep and all that? Just like clay it up like that and then a barn door and then some fencing so we didn't have to get rid of all the fencing maybe possibly i don't know we'll see rustic waterproof roof i guess i could go for like an actual roof huh rather than that wicker floor huh look at that Guess I could do that too. Thermal insulation point eight two. There we are. So like that. It's got a nice fenced outside area, a nice roofed barn door interior that the animals can presumably then operate, which means uh also this wooden gate I might want to turn into a barn door or something like that. And then we can keep some meat out there. Is that... is that sounding right? <laughs> but it's not protected against the elements, though, is the problem. I mean, right now it doesn't... I don't know what to do about this dog during winter, man. That's gonna suck for it. It's gonna be terrible. Because <laughs> uh, it... I really don't think dogs can use stairs for some reason. Which means that it's just stuck out here. Okay. Doghouse. <laughs> it's done. It's set. It's queued. Wooden floor inside with the with the heater. Wooden floor in here with the heater as well. Man. This room may or may not need two heaters. We'll see how how well it actually heats up. I I don't know. And that tree. I can't click on it, but it needs to go. I think they'll figure it out. The things we do for animals, huh? Jeez. Does look quite nice, though. At least for the blueprint, it looks nice. And a lot of this is clay, which is really good at insulating. So hopefully a lot of the temperature actually stays in, even though we've got the barn door. Worst case, we turn the entire thing into just the... Uh, the entire thing into clay wall, and we don't have the fencing or anything then.
A group of animals arrived? Two chickens? What? Whoa. Uh... We got some more goats. We got some more goats, and I'm not sure... Ah, oh, there's the chickens. I guess I'll go for Tim and get a couple chickens. A 2% retaliate chance? Oh, when I hunt them. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah, wow. More more goats. Scramble, apparently. Chris. Talia. Butters. Another candy. Sam Stoma. And Dory. Cut. Little Miss Cut. How about... Little cuddles will fit. Whoops. Yeah, it just fits. Okay. Jeez. A lot of work. Nas successfully domesticated chicken. Easy peasy. Took no time at all. Just walked over and was like, Hey, chicken, come with me. And it's like, okay. Yeah, we got the rat, too. Awesome. So chickens in there as well. Rats, unfortunately, cannot be housed in an animal pen. Hmm. Okay. Well then, domesticated stuff. Uh... Do train Ozeek. Do train the rat as well. The rat, our first rat, a female rat, is the few. Hmm. And it does go through the barn door, so that's good. We still have this fucking tree that I can't. So why can't I select this tree? Uh, get rid of this damned thing. Okay, there we go. They got the message now. Jeez. There. Wooden floor. Okay. It is 24 degrees inside, 0. 0.6 degrees outside, so I think... I think that'll work. This might be too warm. Is this too warm? Animals are hungry. Yeah, I know. Settlers suffering from cold. I know. So it says two degrees inside. The roof is done. The roof is... You know, the roof is done. I guess because it's such a small room. We can make it a bit bigger for him. That's, that's fine. And then, uh... Ooh, there's a bunch of roof variations. We gotta get rid of this roof, though, and redo it. Raw meat. Just next to the fire. Or... Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Smoked meat as well. Can also go in there. Well done, guys. <sighs> Brilliant work. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. That a little bit warmer now? Oh, well, yeah, it needs a roof now. 6.1 degrees C in the hallway, 25 inside the bedrooms. I don't think temperature is moving through open doors. Sadly. The animals are... some of them sleeping outside for some reason. I guess they like minus 5 degree weather. Nice nice 21 in here, though. That's good. Maybe the troughs we should possibly relocate to in here, too. I think they'd maybe appreciate being able to eat where it's nice and warm. There we go. 25 degrees inside with the roof up. 
much better and it's floored up and very high importance to bring food up here the alternative is that we see if the feeding trough works with the animal feed. I'd assume that wild animals still can eat the wild feed, and I also assume that wild animals can just eat from a trough. I don't understand how that would lock it down in any way, shape, or form. But at least with the barn door, maybe wolves stay out from it? Look, I have no idea. None of this makes sense to me, really. But the dog went in there. It's nice and warm, so... I don't know should be cool we haven't even made any animal feed it is still queued up they just haven't gotten around to doing it i don't know if we don't have any hay left or what the story is with that you know i wonder what if i had another barn door right we put in another clay wall here and another barn door then we move this stockpile to over here. It's still heated, but less so. It might be a little colder over there now. No? And then the food keeps a bit better? That's, that's made no difference. No difference at all. Okay. Yeah, well, fine. Then deconstruct that. Undo it. Hats on. Get rid of it. What are you doing? What the heck? Did we get another chicken? Got a lot of animals. We got two new chickens. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh... Verithen and Wheatley. All right. Might have to start slaughtering some things soon. Uh, so the dog can eat, and also the rat. The rat was also um, unable to be penned. The only thing with this is making sure they eat enough of it before it rots because in two days it rots and there's 25 raw meat there I think making animal feed would be the best bet so let's say make it out of whatever animal feed let's bring this down to 10 let's see about getting that queued up first these troughs don't have animal feed, that can stay as raw hay. But we can build one of those in here. And this one can be animal feed, and we'll see how that goes. Maybe it doesn't rot as quickly. And maybe they can eat it still. So trough, very high, just animal feed goes into that. And then we can hopefully get rid of this meat stockpile. Trough, 25 animal feed. Does not seem to rot. Okay, well that seems perfect then. It doesn't seem to rot, and hopefully the rat slash dog can still access that then. And then there we go, we got the solutions found. I just don't know if it actually... Wait a minute. Oi, I saw that. Why the... The dog was just downstairs. So you can access this stuff. What the f... Ah, oh, the... What the... F All right. Okay. Whatever. Well, we made you a little barn, okay? Jeez. <sighs> Man! <laughs> it's so stressful! Ah, animals. So, about the best that I can gather from this, 
Uh, hey, it's just 20 nutrition. The animal feed is 60 nutrition. Nowhere does this say that this doesn't expire anywhere, though, which I think would be a really important thing to note. Because it's what you need to do to be able to feed your animals that can't be penned. Um, I would generally like to have a way to do zoning. Just across the board, being able to paint zoning areas that I assign people and animals to. Because this shit... This is so frustrating. Wild animals are just eating from the trough because they, they can't actually use the barn. Like, I don't know what to do against wild animals. I'm... I'm really not sure what the plan is. How how do I feed How do I feed the dog without also feeding the entire world? Is what I want to know. I was hoping that these things would not be able to do the barn door because there's got to be some solution out there somewhere. But that's not the case. Oh, fun fact. Oh no, we can. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't know what uh what the solution is here. If if there even is one. I'll just go around murdering murdering the animals as they come in, I guess. Just Drafted hunting, which seems to be fairly effective, actually. I don't know. I don't, I, I, I really don't know. I genuinely do not know. I was really hoping that this barn door would keep out wildlife because, I don't know, they want to avoid an indoor area. What do you do for dogs? How does my dog eat? This has been such a stressful thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going to release the dog and also the rats because the rats also can't be penned. I, I don't know. This works great. This is awesome. I like this a lot. The dog was able to go downstairs. I'm assuming wolves and all that can go down the stairs too, though. Like, there's nothing... There's... Gameplay-wise, there's nothing different between my dog and a feral wolf out in the wild. No difference at all. Anything that I do that lets the dog through will let wolves through. I think I gotta take the L on this one. And just, uh... I think I gotta let OZ go. I don't, I don't know what to do for it. I'd, I'd really like to be able to draw paths for animals and assign them to um, these these allowed zones so that I can just house the dog in a nice safe area you know, let it in through a door be able to click on a door and say yeah, a lot of animals through it it's okay if an animal goes through this door and then just let them go through the door for simplicity's sake <laughs> please, for the love of god uh, yeah, I don't know. Man, how stressful. Who, who would have thought that managing a single dog and feeding it would be more stressful than defending the colony? Rumpf. What do we got for roofing options here, though? What's, what's all this? Whoa. Okay. Oh, that looks kind of neat. That's a nice one. Can also change that front material. Ooh. I like that. Okay. And then this can be. Can we be like really fancy with it or? Kinda. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really strange. I don't know about that. We'll go with that, though. That's fine. Yeah. All right. 